So we're working on a Toyota RS today. It's a hybrid. I'm going to show you how to do the oil and the, the oil filter and the oil change. So um, before you start working on the the car, make sure the handbrake is on. You're going to jack it up. Um, find a strong point on the, the bottom of the car. Jack it up. Um, use an axle stand there so you can see with the axle stand on the seam of the car and the weight is off the jack. It's just, just in place just, to, uh, just in case. Um, make sure that the ignition is switched off and i like to take the keys out of the car just to in case the the hybrid can decide just if you had got the ignition switched on by accident um the hybrid part can kick the engine back on while you're draining the oil and cause you a whole lot of hassle so just uh, leave the keys far away from the the car and that'll avoid that and um, so i'm gonna bring you underneath now and we'll get the oil out and uh, show you how to change the, the oil filter too so just underneath the car here then, this is uh, the plastic panel then, has a couple of eyelets there, you can see, and it's this style, that style of tab, three of those hold the panel up. So I like to uh, just pop that out of the way, and just put like a little, just put uh, one of those you know, luggage but, uh, cords to hold it up out of the way. And uh, you're going to need a 14 spanner for the, the drain pipe here. This one here. And then uh, the oil filter is just here as well then. You need a special tool for that. So I'll get, show you these tools then. So that's the oil filter tool there. You can see it has uh, slots inside and then these three slots on both sides so there is a tab on the oil filter housing and uh, if you line it up with the center one on each side you'll have the tool on right and um, it's the same tool for the the events as diesels and stuff like that so pop that on and uh, so that's it on in place there and then you can put um that one has a a place for a spanner, 21 spanner I think it is or you can put a 3.8, so I'm going to use a 3.8 ratchet just, just to loosen that, so they can be a bit tight that, that one wasn't bad I haven't come across any of the hybrid ones to be very tight but uh, the, the diesel Avensis ones you were known to be very tight so just screw it off and uh, you'll get a bit of oil come out um, as you go so um, you always recommend when you're changing the oil in the car to have it warm as much as you can so bring this on a short little drive just to warm it up so but bear in mind when you are changing the oil that the, uh, the oil will be quite hot um, as it dribbles out there so just be careful yeah you don't burn your hands if you're nasty enough so that's the whole assembly out there so it's a, it's an element filter we'll bring this over to the bench then we swap it out and uh, we'll also change well that's while we're doing that we'll um let the oil out of something at the same time You just let that go then and we'll change that. We'll bring up the filter over and we'll change the, the, the element and stuff. So this is the, the oil filter housing there. Um, that's what she looks like there. That's the three tabs. So if you align the tool up. So that the center um, meets up right there. That's, so that's what she goes on. Um, maybe it goes. So we we'll pop this filter out. there and uh, we'll change the o-ring as well while we are here so just just get underneath it with a screwdriver Thank you. 
when I put a new one on. So my hands are oily there now, so we'll just rub a bit of oil on that new O-ring. Just so, so it doesn't get damaged when you put it on. So there it is in place, just around here again. Just to make sure that it's oiled up, and when it's going in, that it doesn't, it can't, uh, it won't come out of place on you. It can cause leaks. And you want to pop in the new filter, it clicks into place, and it's a uh, spring mounted. So there you go. Um, that oil should be drained now. I left that draining while we were doing that. a little bit of a flow on the the oil draining so we'll get the filter back on and uh, should be finished by the time we're done there yeah the oil is after stopping there it's just coming to a drip so that's about as much as you're gonna get out of tool just to tighten up because it is in a slightly lower spot. So I'll just put the tool on and give it a few turns then get it. You don't have to go very tight. Obviously you don't want to go too tight you won't be able to get out the next time. So just a little pinch will do. So I have the oil filter snugged up there and uh, I'm just going to give the, put the, the bung back in. So once it gets to that stage where it's just like a drip, 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 that's that's about as much as you're going to get. Uh, I'll snug up that bolt as well. So that's it, just put the, the panel back on, let it down and I'm going to put some oil in the engine then. Um, so I've put the oil in there and um, I have started the car so with the again with the hybrid when you turn the ignition on it'll just come on the electric mode and um, if you press the accelerator down three times the petrol engine will come on you need to let that run for a little while then to fill up the oil filter and then turn it off let it rest for just say a minute so everything kind of comes back down and then you're going to check your oil so let's see that is not showing up. Um, it's just actually not going to show, it's not going to focus, but it's a uh, spot on there. You know, you can see it kind of glistening, so um, that's the job done anyway. So if you have any questions, just post them in the comments and I'll get back to you if I can. And if you found it, the video anyway helpful, uh, thumbs up and a subscri subscribe is uh, much appreciated. Thank you. Bye.